Hello and welcome to another mod review. So we're continuing with our Forage Halves to Friday theme today. Having already looked at a tractor mounted one this morning. We're now going to look at the V2 of the John Deere 8000 I series harvesters. So I've got the 8100i in front of me, the 8500 and the 8800i chipped. So we've gone for Trelleborg Wides on the baby, which has the 649 grass header. There's also a bigger grass header available. It's the only option on that one. We've put the optional number plates on this one, which I know not many people would put on, it's particularly UK based. This has the Zern grass header. And Michelin crawler tracks and Michelin wide rear tyres. There's two rear tyre options for crawler tracks, which we'll have a look at in the shop. So, given our current weather in the UK, these may be useful at the moment. And we've got the 8800i on wide Michelin tyres with the 9m corn header. And there's also a smaller corn header or maize header in the shop. So we're going to take each of these and test them in turn. We've got three Braun trailers there. Go have a look at the 8100i first. We've got the steering column moves down and left mouse button. Drag the mouse backwards, the door opens, push it forwards, door closes. I know these have been about for a little while. We've got various animated screens in here. Using the an earlier version of this on the Cornbrook series, obviously. All the guys were. So we're going to go and try this on grass. Shouldn't really need to check our lights and everything work, given it's been out for a while. But we'll just quickly run round it. Four light modes on there. Front, back, front work lights and pipe lights. Always worth just checking. So we're gonna go and hook this on trailer up the back there. Whilst doing these tests by myself, I can't actually have a second person with the trailer. In. Got these big self propelled sized swaths on here from the Swadro we tried the other day. Unfold the head. So I was expecting it to cut through the front of the trailer to start with. swirling around the orb in there in my opinion but good enough it's been the baby it's certainly hauling up this hill okay try not to get dizzy on where the um, rake had a little instant up here Pipes following the trailer around okay. The 8100 is good in grass mode, the flap has kicked up the end. issues with the pickup header. So we're now going to take the 8500i out. So 
So we've got an animated joystick in here, as you can see. I'm not sure what I keep hitting there. Not good to reverse up to trailer front. My blue time used to do that with the Jaguar was uh, when we were hunting the headlands up. Usually with a second pair of eyes to help. The textures on these look fairly decent, which is good. I do not want to take this down the road like this. Too far. Half in there this time from the um, cereal. Just going back to grass, so we'll do the straw as well. Or green, green crops, so that's no problem there. Let's just test that. Tracks all seem to work fine on here, so that's another good one. There is a fair sized lump on there. The textures are a little bit off on in places, but um, it's good enough. It's not fully 19 textured, I don't think. Or certainly doesn't seem to be. So that just leaves this monster. sure about the wear already being on the skids when we haven't used it yet, it's brand new at the moment. <clears throat> to my mind that should come later. <coughs> Shouldn't really be any wear showing until it's um, been used. If you bought a new machine for the deal with wear on it, you'll be very happy. Pick up where we left off for the other half strong here. Don't have that much maze left now.
especially. The displays are working. Ground speed engine revs. So I turn that off. Revs drop down. Seems to be working, no problem. Okay, so it's cutting through the front of the trailer, but um, you know, normally you'd be driving the side anyway. You could adjust that if that was manual. So that's some nice details on here of what we can see through the side panels and top there. Okay, it's photographic type stuff, but um, it's not the clearest, but it's a nice touch nonetheless. So let's have a look in the shop here at these. So I suppose you might as well do the headers first. So we've got 390 plus, which is the one I'm using at the moment. Which is 9 meters of the 8800. Then we've got the 686 as well, the 6 meter one. We've got the Zern Profi Cut 620. The 659 grass header. <coughs> and the 649, which is the one we're using. So, good set of headers come with that. We've got the Forage Harvester itself. So a trelly bog in standard, wide, twins, crawler track, and back to standard. Michelin standard, wide, crawler track, and crawler track with wide tires. Logos, as usual, we've got the Agravas. Design normal or license plates. GPS haven't got it. So we've currently got the 8100, 82, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 8800 chipped. So nice little set there. So that's where we're going to be leaving this mod review. So for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.